hello everyone welcome back so today video is about how we can add multiple forms in laravel application using jquery so i have uh, this forms and i want to add multiple forms as like this so how i can do this so let me shoot the demo first so let's click on this plus button and it's added the new form here right so if i click on this uh, minus button let's remove the new form right so click on plus click 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 so i have uh, give this permission to add 12 forms so you can specify the number that how many forms you want to add okay so i where i got this from i got this from this uh, website and this guy explained it very well right so there is also video it's not describing on the video it's uh, playing the background music but it's very simple to understand the first you need to add the jquery cdn and uh, then what's next then you need to define the maximum field button and stuff like that so let me go to the project and here first uh, we are defining the maximum field how many fields we want to add uh, into the project in my case i'm adding the form so this uh, contains uh, one field so this contain two this three so it means that I'm adding the forms, different forms. It's basically only one form, but I'm adding the multiple sections into form. Okay, so here you can define your number that which, uh, how many fields you want to add or how many forms you want to add. Okay, so this one is a button which is responsible for adding the new form or new input. And this one is a wrapper. So where you want to add this new field. Okay, and this one is a field html value okay and here you are defining your startup and then you are when you are clicking on this you are checking that if this is less than this maximum field should mean that we are checking this value if it's less than then we are going to increment it and then we are going to append this on this wrapper right and uh, how remove remove is working so we are basically checking uh, we, are, we are checking this so uh, handling this click event and then we are preventing this to refresh and then here we are removing this simply right so let me uh, first show you a simple example and then i will walk through a little bit complex example okay so this one is a uh, project localhost uh, slash test so where i'm adding the input field multiple input field so let's click on this add and yes one field is added so let's click on nether so it's adding multiple fields so if i click on this remove so it's removing the specific field right so we are successfully able to get uh, we are successfully able to add the fields and remove the field right so this is very simple example so if we have a complex uh, scenario so how we can achieve this so how i'm achieving in my project so let me share the code with you okay um let me shoot this okay this one is a test blade i'm closing this out and uh, this one is a create blade okay so how I'm, I'm rendering so let me start it from the top okay so this one is a tw form so where i added this uh, simple div and in the div i added this form wrapper so this is my form wrapper where i want to render the forms inside this wrapper right so here I'm adding this uh, value TWID. So basically I'm adding this foreign key here. So this is same for all. So this is uh, for bed types, right? So this is same for all. That's why I'm adding it here, not in the form. So my form will be rendered here, right? So how I'm rendering in the jQuery. So this is the form wrapper. So let's take eye on, on this and let's go to the uh, go to the javascript file so here i'm i added the 12 maximum field because i want to add the 12 forms and then i am handling this click event and here i'm rendering my card view so this is basically a simple card so let me close this out so i will also share the link in the description okay this one is uh, inside the card so i have added this uh, here so it's uh, basically i added this column so uh, one more thing if you are adding the multiple lines in the javascript you need to add this uh, backslash right otherwise it will not going to work it's going to throw the character exception right so you need to uh, add the backslash and then it's going to work with the multiple lines so then it will allow us to write multiple lines okay 
here I'm simply adding the same thing and here in this div where I have input uh, so I name this uh, uh, TW name and here I'm passing this an array why I am passing this array because I have multiple forms and uh, I'm using this same name for all of the one and uh, it will get all of the values into an array and then I'm going to get this into the controller so it's very simple so here I pass this uh, uh, in array formats I pass this time notes and same for all and I'm rendering this here so here I am clicking on it and rendering it in the field uh, in the wrapper where I define this right so simply I am also removing this one so it's very simple so how I am handling this in the controller so I am submitting this form on this store route where I am getting this here right so here I applied this TB transaction but this is our not our topic so it's very I am going to go through this only this code right so here I am checking that if the foreign key TWID is there so then not null then I'm going to add this into a database so why I'm not validating here because this is another video where I will explain that how you can validate the arrays how you can validate the array index right and that's why I remove this where these validation from there so how I'm doing this so first I'm checking that uh, I equal zero then I'm checking that I less than count and here I'm adding this TW name which is an field name so if you remember you need to also made this uh, same name and uh, at the top which is the first uh, which one is the first uh, uh, form which is rendered from html and other we are adding from the jquery so you need to also make uh, made them arrays both ones right so here i'm checking that if this name uh, we are checking this names counts if I user added two or five or ten so we are counting this here and we are executing this through loop and uh, here we are adding this request and then we are passing this i so i will return the index value so if the user return uh, user uh, enter the three forms it will first uh, uh, return the zero then return one then return two so it's mean that we are separating the name price and time uh, first we are going to create the first form then we are going to create the second and then third so we are uh, you can also loop through through this uh, price why why you can loop the, loop through this price because these all params are same because uh, this form also contain the price this form also contain the price and this one is also so it means that these params are same that's why we can check it uh, any which is which i want so I don't need to add this here I need to check this here in the count right so hope you get an idea that uh, how to add the multiple forms using jQuery and uh, how I know that uh, how to add this like uh, in jQuery so I asked this uh, on the stack overflow that how to add this so then I properly documented here that uh, what's the issue and uh, how I'm facing so someone asked this one provided this solution and this solutions also so this is working properly for me and solve my issue and uh, save my bunch of time and someone has also suggested this one this scenario where he is passing the request one and I think my video size is going bigger okay so this one is also working so hope you get an idea so I will meet you in the next one subscribe to the YouTube channel bye, -bye.